Acting, presenting, modelling, winning pageants, you name it, Mahalia has done it. The versatile entertainer has cut her teeth starring in projects such as Heels and Sneakers and Yellow. He can beat my body, but he can't beat my feelings for you, I mean. So, because I really do like you and I'm, I'm very serious. You know, Abantia, that guy will beat you up. Uh -huh. He's not my brother. He's what? He's my boy. Huh? She went on to win Miss Commonwealth 2019 and MCs as a side hustle. Hi guys, my name is Mahalia Bamford Pell from YOLO TV series and I'm here to answer 50 questions from you. Stay tuned. This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Pave Studios for the guest of the day. All right, the first one says, uh, please, can I get your number? Okay, that's not part. The person says, can I get your number? That wasn't part of the questions. <laughs> uh, how long have you been acting? Since 2016. I started with Heels and Sneakers with Yvonne. That's why I'm production. Yeah, so 2016. And the person says, another one, when did you start acting? I just answered that. And most interesting place you've ever traveled to? Well, I've not really had so much excitement with travel because I've not seen most parts of the world that I would love to see. But, uh, I think Nigeria is fun. I know it sounds funny. Why am I not mentioning somewhere else? But Nigeria is fun. It's one of the few places I went that actually had a lot of fun. So, greatest accomplishments. Well, my greatest accomplishment is finding happiness within myself. Yes, when you get to that point where you just feel happy whether or not something goes well. You know what I mean. <laughs> All right, if you weren't famous, what would you be up to right now? Business. Whether there's fame or there's not, I would always do business, 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 because I have to get the money. <laughs> and will you date a fan if you fall in love with him? Why not? You said, if I fall in love with him. If I'm in love with somebody, that's the person I'll be with. It doesn't matter if you're a fan, you are, I mean, don't be broke, because that can be like, I mean, I'll still love you, but it will like, let the love vanish. But then if you're a fan, that doesn't spoil anything. The fact that you're a fan doesn't mean I can't date you. If I fall in love with you, I'm in love with you. Okay, so if I'm in love with somebody out there who's a fan, holla. <laughs> All right, um, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done to you? It's those nudes you guys send. I didn't even know it happens on Instagram. I thought it was just Snapchatting. But yeah, that's really weird. Stop it. Mm, what celebrity would you rate as a perfect 10? Wow. It's hard to find someone who is perfect, but then I, I look up to Jackie Apia, Ivan Nelson, because of course I don't know their personal lives. I don't know too much of who they are as human beings, but they've done so well and they inspire me, so yeah. I could give them a perfect 10. What's the worst job you've ever had? I've no, I can't call any job I've had so far worse because it's either really good or I learned a lot from it. So yeah, I love every job I've had because so many lessons and love and even in the sadness or the downsides, I learned so much. So no bad job so far. What would be your spirit animal? Hmm. Hmm, my spirit animal. <laughs> I used to say the lion, uh, I'll be like a lioness, but then nowadays I, I think more of a horse, like a white horse, because it just, like it shows royalty in a very subtle and poised way. You know, it's not all about, you know. <laughs> yeah, and it's very ladylike to see a white horse, like picture a white horse, like with the breeze at the beach, just like, you know. There's something unique about that, so anyway. I'd, I think I'll choose a white horse, like a plain white horse. That's that's just dope, like. Uh, if you were God for a day, what changes would you make in the world? I would let love lead, because I think if, really, if everybody's doing the same thing, we be showing each other love more, which means all the other negative things would either really reduce or not even exist, so if I was God, I would force everybody to have love first. Before you talk about somebody and cause them pain, think about love. Love yourself, love others. I think that's that's what I would do. 
but let me be you one day. <laughs> and what have you learned about yourself since you became a celebrity? Oh, I'm a celebrity, thank you. All right. What have I learned about myself? Um, I've realized I have a very strong personality. I didn't really know that from the beginning, but then I've realized that I have a very strong personality. So that's something I've learned. And I've learned to tolerate people more. Yes. So that's what I was saying. If you had a personal flag, what would be on it? Stay positive. Stay positive. I'm sure there's like, the hundredth time or the millionth time you've heard this, but then it's underrated actually. You guys need to hold the statement in high esteem because staying positive doesn't mean you don't have like bad days or you don't get sad or feel down sometimes. It just means in whatever situation you find yourself, you find a way to you know dust yourself, pick yourself up and then get going. And that's what life is about anyway. Where were you born and bred in Ghana? Hey, were you born and bred in Ghana? Please, so, right here, <laughs> nowhere else. I, I guess I was born and bred in Ghana. Bread, buttered, everything, Ghana here. What's the most memorable gift you've ever received? What's the most memorable gift you've I think it's love. <laughs> that one time you feel so loved, hmm. I'll just skip this, you know before I start talking too much. All right, somebody says, I see you there. Well, I see you, that's not a question. Uh, three most interesting things about you. Myself, I think I'm quite goofy. I think I'm, uh, I think I have a good heart. <laughs> Which sounds very funny, because everyone would say that about himself. But I easily feel people's pain, and I think that's quite interesting. Uh, oh, that's nice, not interesting. What other interesting thing? Oh, one interesting thing about myself is that I'm multi-talented. I can do like a whole lot of things. Sometimes I'm not even aware I can do it and I try and it works and then, you know, it feels good. So that's one exciting thing about myself. Okay, so three. Please, where do you come from? Where do I come from? Mm. That's, I'm going to answer that with a long story. My mom is fancy, 100%. She's Elizabeth Amper. My dad, my dad's father is British. His mom is a Dagati woman. And he is George Morris Bamford. Yeah, so that tells you where I'm from. Who is the most special guy in your heart? My dad. Thank you for the question. How many boys have you bounced before? And how many have you accepted in your lifetime? Hey, the bouncing there, I don't know. I can't tell how many. But the dating. She dated me. <laughs> she dated me. Okay. Well, in your lapel dated. No, in real life, she dated me. It's me. Okay. No, it's not him. It is me. DM me, I'll tell you. <laughs> I've dated two and a half. He's the half. <laughs> yeah, he's not the half, oh, guys. Take this. Before your girls start DMing me, Ivan. Hmm. Anyway, Which how how did you? Hey, your girls. Your, your, will you consider? Miss Universe Ghana in the future. Hey, where is this from? <laughs> well, first of all, Miss Universe Ghana is a great, great platform for young ladies, but I've had my own share of pageantry, and for now, I am done with that. I am fully focused on my business, so I don't think that will be happening in the future, right? But it's a great platform for you to utilize. How did you get yourself in acting YOLO? I was auditioned, and I was given the role. Who is your boyfriend? I'm single, not searching. No. I was inviting you go, go. It's okay. Don't be shy. Let's go to pasta mood. Uh huh. Bye bye. Don't be shy. Nobody can tell that I've started. Guys, I, I don't have a boyfriend. I okay. Will, I will pray for all of you who want to chase my wife. Ah, are you not the same person? Yeah. You watch this video. Pray. <laughs> Please, I don't have a boyfriend. I am single and I'm happily single. I'm not looking forward to changing that now. Okay, so please do not attempt. And who inspired you to be who you are today? My mom and God and my family, my sisters. Yeah. You know, the people that truly care about you always remind you of your strength and your capabilities and believing in you when you don't and all of that, yes. But God is the ultimate. Uh, are you a virgin? 
Please come and find out. Okay. Looking beautiful, okay, that's no question. What do you do as an entrepreneur and how will you use your position to affect the youth or educate them? Why do I feel like I'm in the pageants and like the panel of judges are asking the finale question or the final question? How, what do you do as an entrepreneur and how will you use your position to affect the youth or educate them? Okay, I'm going to take it in two parts, okay? What do I do as an entrepreneur? I, <laughs> I have a range of products, organic products, which takes care of um, problems of the mind, body, and skin. It's called Tawia, T-A-W-I-A-H, underscore in between. Check us out on Instagram. I have a beauty business called MB Studio Fix. So we do microblading, uh, lash extensions, makeup, nails, yeah. And then there's a new one. <laughs> well, this is good we are filming at this time. I can let you guys know. There's something called Popple, okay? It's a digital like uh, business card, but it's like a sticker on your phone. So if you want to know any handle of mine, like social media, LinkedIn, website, anything at all that can be linked on the internet. I can have it on it and when I just touch your phone, you have all those details. So there's nothing like you couldn't give your, your social media account, your number, your website to somebody and you missed the business opportunity or you didn't look good enough. Uh, as in you didn't make a good impression because you couldn't give all those details out just by a touch of your phone. The person gets a link and they access details on all your platforms that you allow them to access. So do follow Popo Ghana on Instagram, P-O-P-L underscore Ghana, all right? We need some freebies, so some of you get to start using it for free. All right, so make sure you're following because it's only for followers. Anyway, now, now now that I've answered what I do as an entrepreneur, the person says, "How will I use my position to affect youth, the youth today, and educate them?" Well, with my position, what position? Okay, with my experience in life and business, uh, what I would do or how I would affect the youth is by letting them know the reality because nowadays everything is like uh, packaged. People don't come out and tell you the truth about what they go through in life. So how I would affect the youth today is actually let them know the realities on the ground, that nothing is ever easy. We are all just going through and making the best of it and staying positive. That's why sometimes it looks all good and flashy, but we are not always happy we are not we are, we are like you we get sad we get through the down times you also get through sometimes i'm broke just like you sometimes i have money just like you i'm just like you everybody's just like you beyonce is like you kylie's like you even also like you jackie pierce like you nanado's like you i'm like you we are all the same okay so the reality on the ground is that we are all going through the same things just at different stages in life and everybody can make it Right? So far as you're breathing. So that's how I would affect everybody, by making them know the reality of the ground, not over packaging and lying about how things are in real life. Nah, none of that. Okay, what's your most embarrassing childhood memory? Well, I don't really remember vividly, but my mom says anytime I get a new panty, I wear it and walk around with just a panty. Like I literally want to go on the streets and be shouting. I don't know why, I can't understand. I don't see myself doing that, I really don't. It's probably a lie, you know, don't even take it personal, but that's what everybody's saying. Like, I would literally show my panty. Say, my chef panty for Hey, like, oh, oh, God. Like, me depend on Anyway, and I think that's embarrassing. That's the most embarrassing thing. There are other embarrassing ones, but that's the most embarrassing one. And then someone says, what skill would you like to master? Ah, oh, emotional intelligence. Guys, if you can master emotional intelligence, you have made it in life, I'm telling you. Because being able to, hmm, like listen to the two words I used to do, emotional intelligence. It's about knowing how to act and how to feel, even feel. To have that control of yourself in every situation. It can take you places, I'm telling you. It can take, imagine being emotionally intelligent with your spiritual life, social life, everything you do. Oh, that's what I'm trying to master. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but there's hope. I hope you try it too, for your own sake. Oh, what are some things that sound like compliments, but are actually insults? Oh, yeah, oh, Jimmy, oh, they are almost real. Those little, little things we say, oh, my, yeah, oh, like, indirectly. It's like, the best way to say, like, you're never really serious. Think about it. Yeah, and then what else? There's one thing, it's like a compliment, but, they only move out. When people start telling you, they only move out. Hey, baby, I only move. It's not a compliment. It sounds like a compliment, like you know so much. 
Mm -mm. Because I mean, too much of everything is bad. You know everybody, like really. What have you been doing like everybody? You know every way. Oh, no, 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 no. It sounds like a compliment, but just a little bit of an insult under there. Yeah, I think basically that's what I can think of now. All right, guys, so thanks for staying with me. My name is Mahalia, and this has been 50 Questions with the Paid Network. Thanks for indulging me, and yeah, I hope you have fun watching it. So do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is the Pave Network, the Pave Network. Do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share our content. All right, guys? Okay, and on other social media platforms, you can find us at Pave Ghana.